So I haven't started my videos off with piano in the last week or so, and it's made a couple people upset, so I'm gonna, I'll do it. That was pretty tough. I, that was canon in D. It's not that hard, but I just suck. I, it's been such a long time since I played. But anyways, there's some piano for you guys. <laughs> Walking out to my driveway to see all this is amazing. We're also gonna be painting the garage door. Pretty soon we have enough time to do that, but now we have paint for it, and uh, we're actually gonna match both garages. Ooh. <sighs> Dreams, bro. Another little update for the garage. I have my massive, massive compressor. Sometime this week I will set this up whenever I need the air tools. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a little interesting to work on the Subaru today with this. I never really, didn't really think about that, but might have to move it out of the way. But first things first today, we're gonna get parts for the Subaru and uh, get the trailer out of our driveway. Now before we get rolling with this, I want to give a huge shout out and thank you to the sponsor of this video, World of Warships Blitz. They're a big supporter of the channel, if you'd like to support me and support the builds, helps me out a ton if you check out what I'm about to tell you. World of Warships Blitz is a free to play game on the App Store and Google Play. You can install World of Warships right now using my link that's in the top of the description. If you're a new player, if you reach level 3, you get a free ship, which is the German Destroyer G101. Which is a dope ship, because you can shoot torpedoes at your homies and they can explode. Last week, World of Warships Blitz released a brand new line of ships, which are the German Destroyers. They have good maneuverability and speed, fast reloading torpedoes, and high hit points. Cons, they are thick, short range torpedoes, and low armor. If you guys consider yourselves a supporter of the channel, it really helps me a ton whenever you go to the description and at least see what I have to offer for you guys. It's a fun game. I'm actually like shocked at how far mobile games have come, but check it out. Play it a little bit for me, and with my link that I have, you get some free stuff. Now, on to the install. Okay, we have a little bit of a mess. We got like trunk carpet that we gotta put back in. This is gonna go to somebody who collects metal, help somebody out, I guess. I'm gonna go over what I'm actually gonna be selling. Somebody's selling these wheels. I'm not shipping any of this, so I'm sorry. These wheels, 100 bucks picked up. This trunk, I'll do 100 bucks picked up. I've got two WRX wings for 75 bucks a piece. These are like lowering springs or something? I don't even know what these are. Then I got stuff like my rear glass. I need that to be put back on, and that won't be done today because I have to get that by appointment. Vehicle dollies, I actually bought these the day that we uh, got the WRX, and I never used them, so that's awesome. And then I do have an STI subframe, so if anybody wants that. 100 bucks, and I need my exhaust. Wow, we have a lot to do today. All right, all this is up for grabs. Let's go home and finish up the Subaru once and for all. Oh, so I forgot that I should have recorded that part. On the way home, I saw this beautiful E92 <laughs> M3. And I forgot that I need an E92 M3. <laughs> no, you have to tell the whole conversation. We're having this conversation, he's like, you know, I think five cars is plenty. Five cars is good. And then literally 30 seconds later, you're like... Well, they don't know why I'm talking about five cars. With a lot of cars, I'll bring that up. With a lot of cars, <laughs> um, you tend to like not get attached. And with this build, it was really cool to get the experience, but somebody made me an offer I can't refuse. So <laughs> I... Uh... I love you. <laughs> So here we go. What do we need to get done today? Well, I need to get these drilled in. I have my hardware and stuff for the wide body, but that's the last thing I want or care to do. Need to get the side skirts on because side skirts look good. Um, I've, I've got a couple pieces in here. Um, disregard that. A mm -hmm. couple plastic pieces here and there, and then I need to put the exhaust back on. It doesn't seem like a lot, but I think most of this is gonna be like, there's so much time spent doing body kits the right way. I, I think that's it. I think that's it. I gotta say, this has been a very fun build. And I've been very appreciative of how much support this got, especially in the beginning, but uh, it just took way too long. And I honestly, it sounds bad, but like, I don't wanna say I've lost interest in it, but I don't know, should've been done. Let me tell you what, brother. It is so much easier to do literally anything with the lift And 
Another thing checked off the list. <laughs> I, uh, I had forgotten to put that little piece on the body kit before. Uh, uh, before. So now it's on. I got a full rear body kit. And it's pretty good. I got to do a couple things to the trunk, and then I'm gonna try and get some of this figured out. Everybody was getting so upset with me whenever I started modifying the fenders and stuff after I had gotten it dipped. Um, I understand your frustration, but uh, you're going to have to take it up with the complaint department. Currently the line is a few thousand, so I might get to your request later. Look at that dude. Nice and tight. And look! Look, it actually lines up now. Hey, I a full body kit. Hell yeah. Also want to give a quick shout out to Dress Up Bolts for supplying this cool hardware. That is on there, on there. On there as well, and I actually fixed this back here. This had it had some fitment issues back here. There's a big, big space, but I actually moved this up like this way a little bit, and now it's perfect. And she don't want to move either. <laughs> they don't fit like amazingly. I don't know what brand these are. Some the person that owned this before had them, but I figured I would paint them and it give it a little nice. Sort of a tasteful little touch. So I haven't, oh yeah, I'm still waiting on that to get painted, so just disregard that. But, until now, I haven't deemed it necessary to do this. This is a huge step for the WRX build. Copart sticker is officially coming off. I didn't want to take any of this off until it was done. And boys, It's done. <laughs> oh, it smells. Ooh. Mmm. Get that. Get that F out of here. Get that F out of here. Gone. So we got an S right here for sweet and um that. This is a crazy big moment. Oh, uh, it's going gone. Yeah. Uh, wait. Up. Oh. Windshield's clean. Here are all the other parts, pieces, and sandpaper. <sighs> Gonna bring all this out for good. Actually, that needs to be reattached. Whoopsies. All right, boys. This is it. She gets out of the garage today. Amazing. And no rubbing. So we are getting a first look at this, uh, oh, that's, that's fifth gear. Yeah! Oh my god! The car needs an alignment. Desperately! <laughs> I love it so much already. A little bit of... Teeny turbo spool. Ooh. Dude, it drives so well. Except for needs a little bit of an alignment. I actually really want to drive this on the street. Dude, it looks so good. I love the skirts. The car looks so good. Look at that with the full body kit. I mean, it needs a wash now, but this is a cool car, guys. This is such a cool car. Take a look at this driveway. I don't, not to brag, missing a 350Z in my wife's car, but this is crazy. I started from a Subaru. Actually, I started from a Scion. One day I was driving to school and I thought to myself, I'm gonna put my GoPro on my sunroof and I'm gonna just drive to school. And people thought I was funny. People said I should keep making videos. So, whoever you are, I doubt you still watch the channel. I owe it to you guys for all of this. If it wasn't for me doing it that day, it's never would've happened, but if it wasn't for those comments, I mean, I'm sure most, some of this would still be here. I'd find, I'd figure out a way to make the dreams come true, but this is crazy. The rear glass is going to be put on, on Thursday. The guy's coming, I have an appointment for that. Got a couple things to button up here and there, and I'm very glad I have the exhaust on it because it just sounds, and it actually looks better now. I love the look of that exhaust, it's so mean, super mean. Believe in yourselves, boys. 
believe in yourselves. Don't get cocky about it. Don't get cocky. Don't be annoying. There's so many people that are so annoying and like overconfident, and that is the most annoying thing in the world, and it doesn't get you very far. But honestly, if you deal with if you deal with insecurity and you think that you're not going to amount to anything, <sighs> believe in yourself. It seems like a good idea. It's like to make a YouTube channel now, but eight years ago when I made one, people thought it was so dumb. I mean, I'll be honest. My, they believe in me now, but my parents never believed in it. They would have probably rather me have paid more attention in school, which that is definitely a mentality I can understand 10 years ago almost. But I'm glad that through college I pursued this and I made this my thing, but I had to believe in myself. And guys, I've been through a, I've been through a lot of very hard times. It was never easy, and I'm sure I still have rough times to come. That's just a natural thing. Everybody goes through them. But believe in yourselves and don't lose sight of it because uh, the, moment, the moment you do, you're going to regret, regret it for the rest of your life. And uh, if I would have stopped in college like people told me to and like I thought I should have, um, don't know where I'd be. Just want to say thank you guys for watching today. And uh, that was part of my daily advice that I give every day on the channel, by the way. Thank you for being a part of my life and for doing this. I said probably every video, but I want you guys to know that I am very thankful. And to clarify, I didn't want a WRX. Like, I wasn't, like, searching to buy a WRX. But I found this on Copart, and because I had already, I had already you know, done Subaru stuff, I figured it'd be a fun build to do. But um, this is not by no means a car that I've always wanted in my garage. So I am uh, I'm excited that we, we accomplished it. The biggest thing for me was accomplishing it because, again, I believed in myself. I had never done any sort of fabrication, like not fabric, like body work like this before. And I believed in myself. I said I could do it and we did it. So I wanted to prove that to myself and that was the point of this car. Now somebody can go enjoy the thousands and thousands of dollars I spent and uh, countless hours rebuilding this and I will get something cooler. <laughs> I'll catch you guys later. Bye. Two videos, boys. I got two videos for you. And what you should do is you should watch both of them. If not one, one's fine, both is better, but just leave, just don't leave my channel. Just, just keep watching Evan's videos, because they're good.